क्लास एट सब्जेक्ट जनरल साइंस चैप्टर सिक्सटीन रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट एक्सरसाइज क्वेश्चन वन फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स वन द परपेंडिकुलर टू द मिरर एट द पॉइंट ऑफ इंसिडेंस इज कॉल्ड द नॉर्मल टू द रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट फ्रॉम अ वुडन सरफेस इज इरेग्युलर रिफ्लेक्शन थ्री द वर्किंग ऑफ कैलिडोस्कोप इज बेस्ड ऑन द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट क्वेश्चन टू ड्रा अ फिगर डिस्क्राइबिंग द फॉलोइंग द रिफ्लेक्टिंग सर्फेसेस ऑफ टू मिरर्स मेक एन एंगल ऑफ नाइंटी डिग्री विद ईच अदर इफ रे इंसिडेंट ऑन वन मिरर हैज एन एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंट ऑफ थर्टी डिग्री ड्रा द रे रिफ्लेक्टेड फ्रॉम द सेकेंड मिरर वॉट विल बी इट्स एंगल ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन Question three: How will you explain the statement? We cannot see the objects in a dark room. Answer: In a room that is completely dark, no light falls on object. Hence, no light enters our eyes. Hence, there is no sensation of vision. That means we cannot see the objects. Question four. Explain the difference between regular and irregular reflection of light. Regular reflection, irregular reflection. This type of reflection occurs on smooth surfaces such as plane mirror. This type of reflection occurs on rough surfaces such as a blackboard. Two. In this type of reflection the reflected ray are parallel to each other in this type of reflection the reflected rays are non parallel to each other in this type of reflection the reflected rays are in one direction 3 in this type of reflection the reflected rays are in different direction question 5 draw a figure showing the following a incident ray b normal c angle of incidence d angle of reflection e point of incidence f reflected ray answer incident ray normal reflected ray angle of incidence that is i angle of reflection that is r point of incidence question 6 study the following incident Swara and Yash were looking in a water-filled vessel. They could see their images clearly in the still water. At that instant, Yash threw a stone in the water. Now their images were blurred. Swara could not understand the reason for the blurring of the images. Explain the reason for blurring of images to Swara by answering the following questions. One. is there a relation between the reflection of light and the blurring of images answer yes two which type of reflection of light can you notice from this answer regular reflection of light 
when light is incident on the still water and irregular reflection of light when light is incident on the water as ripples are produced on the surface when a stone is thrown in the water still water behaves as a plain and smooth surface while oscillating water behaves as a rough surface 3 are the laws of reflection followed in this type of reflection answer yes Question 7 Solve the following examples A If the angle between the plane mirror and the incident ray is 40 degree what are the angles of incidence and reflection answer the angle between the plane mirror and the incident ray is 40 degree therefore the angle of incidence means i is equals to the angle made by the incident ray with the normal to the plane mirror is equals to 90 degree minus 40 degree is equals to 50 degree the angle of reflection r is equals to i is equals to 50 degree b if the angle between the mirror and reflected ray is 23 degree what is the angle of incidence of the incident ray solution the angle between the mirror and the reflected ray is 23 degree therefore the angle of reflection means r is equals to the angle made by the reflected ray with the normal to the plane mirror is equals to 90 degree minus 23 degree is equals to 67 degree so therefore the angle of incidence i is equals to r is equals to 67 degree